Dozens of tearful survivors of the Grenfell Tower tragedy joined relatives and supporters outside Kensington High Street for a silent walk last Friday. Arranged by Grenfell United, the walk marked 18 months since the North Kensington block was ablaze. So I arrived at the tower in the early hours of the morning. I wasn't there when the night was asleep at home. I um, woke up at 6 in the morning to, to find out that uh, the tower where my uncle lived was on fire. So Grenfell United thought, no one's coming for us. We're going to organise ourselves. You know, we are the people that came out of the tower. We are the families that lost um, loved ones in the tower. We need to now organise ourselves and be the voices for those who can't speak up. Because nobody else was going to do it for us. So we almost became humanitarians. You know, helping other families with sorting out whatever they needed to sort out. While most of which were still going through what they were going through. But they felt that without doing so, nobody else was going to do it and everyone would have been lost. And with the Grenfell Inquiry's outcome still on the table, Grenfell United, who formed as a way to give mourners a support network, want the focus to be on the lives lost. I mean, there's nothing more powerful than marching in silence with all of your families and, the, and your community reflecting and remembering the reason why we are doing this and the reason why we're fighting and campaigning to make sure that the 72 lives we lost are uh, not only remembered for horrific fire but remembered for positive change you know disturbing the peace with peace you know i don't think there's anything stronger than that after over an hour of silence the names of those lost were read out to the crowd with one simple message remembrance and hope Begum, forever in our hearts forever.